is Bangkok, the city of angels in the land of smiles. Nine million people live here in Bangkok. It is fast becoming one of the most attractive and one of the most sophisticated business cities in all of Asia. Bangkok is the leading destination for medical tourism worldwide. The city hosts the iconic Bamramgrad International Hospital, the most popular medical tourism operation in the world. It doesn't feel like a hospital, but it is. This is the sky lobby in the clinic building of the Bamramgrad campus. 1,200 doctors practice here in 12 floors of some of the finest medical private practice to be found anywhere in the world. They have training indeed from hospitals located in Japan, in Europe and the United States. I spent two weeks at Bamramgrad meeting the doctors and the staff who support them. It is a place I personally use living in Bangkok. And for me, having worked in television now for a long time, it is a rare example of a story and a product that lives up to the marketing that sells it. How good a doctor do you have to be to get a job here? You have to show yourself that you are at the very top. I was trained in the state. When I come to work here, there's no difference. I went to the US for my uh, clinical training. Um, I did my internal medicine training in Hawaii and I chose to do uh, hematology and oncology training in Minnesota. So I went there, spent three years over there. When I completed my training, I went back to Thailand and joined the Bamuran International Hospital. The doctors here are all Thai doctors who've had extensive training, um, be it overseas in places like the US, the UK, Australia, Japan, Germany, and most of them also have professorial appointments in the large teaching medical schools, and also we provide them with the best technological support. For instance, we have um, the IBM Watson for Oncology, which is a decision support system that will help our oncologists or our cancer specialists have access to the latest information, including the latest drug trials and the latest uh, in research from around the world. The question for any patient who is considering a procedure in a foreign country is safety and quality. Bamramgrad was the first hospital in Asia to receive accreditation by the Joint Commission International, or JCI, the same organization which accredits hospitals in the USA. There is no other organization as trusted when it comes to hospital safety and quality. JCI is an organization that ensure the quality and the safety of the patient, which is the primary business of ours. We want patients to be safe and sound environment. From heart surgery and brain surgery to checkups and to procedures that just might make you look a few years younger, it is all here. A lot of people experience Baumrumgrad first off having an executive health screening. The checkup includes 25 tests and evaluations, all done under the supervision of specialist cardiologists, radiologists, and screening specialists. An exam like this could take weeks to schedule in some countries. It could take days to complete and cost thousands of dollars. But at Bamramgrad, you can schedule it the day after you arrive in Bangkok, complete it, and receive the results on the same day. And the cost? Between 200 and six hundred dollars. Bamramgrad has 18 operating theatres, medical technology from leading companies like GE and Siemens. The hospital has recently installed the new Mako technology, a machine which provides new accuracy in aligning hip and knee replacements. The hospital's automated laboratory, the first in Thailand, performs three million tests each year. Specimens arrive from clinic floors above the laboratory using a pneumatic tube system. Almost all tests are completed within the Bamramgrad complex, ensuring strict control and accuracy. The results are then confirmed by lab technicians and sent back to the treating doctors. Anyone choosing treatment at a foreign hospital needs to be sure that they can be understood. So what do cup? Do I do it right? Yes, you did. I do. Right. Okay. Put your hands, your palms together around your chest. And like that. Yes. So what do you cup? So what do you cup?
The hospital offers interpreters for most major languages and a team of 100 medical coordinators to serve the needs of international patients. All the doctors and many of the nurses speak English. We um, took our family to the Grand Palace the day I started having contractions. Once we got to the palace, the contractions started coming faster. Everyone felt a little bit nervous, so we knew we needed to head to the hospital. And the experience since you've, you've been here? It's been everything we've read about. It's been wonderful. Very good doctors and kind staff, and all of our questions have been answered. And Does it measure up to medicine in the U.S.? You were telling me earlier that you've been in hospital there. It's been a little easier. It's been easier to to get our answer, questions answered and to just maneuver through the system. I guess that's what I found the easiest. If you got sick, um, would you go back to the States? If you got really sick or you needed something, and I'd say, no, no, not just the opposite. If I were sick in the U.S. or if I was sick anywhere, I would try my best to come back to Bumangrad for care. It is the end of another day at Bamrumgrad, and as one shift ends, another begins in what is a 24-7 operation. This day changed the lives of people who had come here from all over the world and from nearby. A spine operation was a great success for a man who had traveled here from the United States. A lady from Myanmar can now see clearly again with new lenses placed into her eyes. And a little boy, born with a damaged heart, can look forward to being just like every other kid. We could be at a hospital in New York or in London or in Sydney, but we are in Bangkok, in the land of smiles, in the city of angels, and at the extraordinary Bumramgrad International. I'm Jeffrey James in Bangkok.